All right, well, trunk's reassembled. You wouldn't have a clue of hydrogen cells back here. But it's running because it's not going all the way through underneath the passenger seat. <laughs> so now all I have to do is send this hydrogen around over here into my intake. And then we'll be done. Okay, this is a small Hellman's uh, mayonnaise bottle that I've used uh, for my third bubbler. Now, since it's going to be right next to the headers, I wrapped it. I took a aluminum foil and layers and folded it and then wrapped it on top of this. And I'm probably going to put many more layers of, like, Gorilla Tape or whatever to add more insulation. Um, it may seem kind of cheesy, but aluminum foil dissipates heat very well. And being where it's going to be, I think it'll work out rather well. I'm also going to use this around the area where I ripped out on the firewall in the car to uh, reinforce that and prevent any possible heat damage to the frame. Here's my Hellman's top. This is the uh, some putty that I use that hardens to as strong as steel. Uh, it's very resistant against abrasion. It can actually be drilled and tapped. So, you know, obviously these aren't going anywhere. I'm going to put a little bit on the bottom as well and then run my hose to the bottom of the bubbler. Uh, for my intake, I drill the hole through the intake and use the same stuff on top. I just wrapped it with foil tape so it doesn't look like crap. But uh, that ain't going anywhere. And it's actually stronger than the intake itself is because it's just like basically plastic with chrome on it. I'll probably wrap it with another layer of Gorilla Tape and then foil tape again because, you know, the more layers, obviously the more insulated. And I want to keep this as cold as possible. And uh, that should do it. After many hours and many days, I'm finally done. All right, here we go. We start the intake, which I need to clean, but I can't do that right now if I want to make the tests accurate. Start the intake, go to a check valve immediately. Remember, I have the putty here, so it will send a lot of force and PSI. If there's an explosion, hopefully it'll just blow the tube off. That's why this tube is weaker. The one-way check valve, we've got the fuel line that's insulated and wrapped many, many times because it's got to withstand all this heat and it'll be fine with the amount of layers that I put on it. We come to another check valve, and then we come to a filter. We have our bubbler. We have another check valve. It's a backup again. So it goes around, and it comes from a hole in the firewall that I got, and I had a lot of reinforcement, a lot of tape, and, and uh, aluminum foil and whatnot to keep it insulated. Let's go around here, and uh, we got our gauge cluster. All right, I started her up. Got the voltmeter on. Right now we're running at 14 volts. I'm going to rev the engine so you hear how it sounds, and I'm going to put the hydrogen cell on. All right, here's the engine without the hydrogen. I'm going to rev it, and you'll hear how it sounds. All right, now I'm going to put the hydrogen on. Afterwards. It definitely has a difference. Alright, tune in for my next video when I talk about miles per gallon game.